Road travel is incredibly important for us as a business, both from the perspective of our students who travel to come to study with us, equally it's just as important for our staff. And in fact, good road transport networks to our colleges means I have a much wider geographic pool to recruit really good quality staff to inspire and teach our students, so they're both hand in hand, absolutely. Our access to lots of events, visiting other colleges, uh, lots of national networking that we have to attend means that in this part of Kent, unless it happens to be in the south or southwest, we always have to use the crossing at the moment, which factors in a lot of the time decisions as to whether or not we'll actually uh, go to events or engage in events with the current and existing road infrastructure. But much of it's geared up for transport between the continent coming through this region of Kent and Medway in particular it effectively rules us out from doing anything in the northern part of the southeast region, particularly Essex, because we know we are heavily reliant on the current existing crossing, which is, most of the time, a real challenge to get through, under or over. Some of the things that we'd do differently as a result of the Lower Thames crossing uh, being put in place will be us being able to work better with some of our colleagues uh, in South Essex. Most importantly, the businesses and where we're able to then support to provide the training and the development and the staffing that future businesses are going to need. Being able to open up aspirations and opportunities for our young people in Medway and Maidstone who will then consider employment opportunities in South Essex, North London and as a result of the crossing being there find that that's much easier than it ever has been up until this point. So there are going to be some fantastic opportunities for our young people as well as for us as a business in bringing, bringing us closer together.